sensor. Patch sensor, <laughs> not sticker sensor. Blood sugar diabetic. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? I'm Paige. I'm Holly. And today we're telling the story about how Holly saved my life. So, I think the best way to start this story is to give them a background to your diagnosis mm -hmm. and type 1. We'll paint the scene. Yeah. After. For those of you who still don't know, I am diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. I've had it for just about four years now. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease. Um, it's basically where your body attacks the cells in your pancreas that help create insulin. So now when I eat sugar, my pancreas, what it's supposed to do is produce insulin um, to help level out the sugar levels in my body, but because I don't have it, the sugar levels would just stay really, really high in my system no matter what I eat. There's sugar in a lot of things, like any fruits, uh, certain vegetables. Bread. Bread, definitely bread. So what happens is my body builds up with sugar and then I take injections to help lower my blood sugar for any of those who wanted that little scientific <laughs> ex explanation. What you basically just said is kind of how you explained it to me when I was asking lots of questions yeah. because I had a roommate that had a nut allergy so whenever she had any sort of like allergic reaction you stab her with a pen right so I asked Paige if diabetes was the same thing and she's like no she's <laughs> like if you stab me with this pen you will kill me do not stab me with the pen so that was a quick that was the first lesson. I think you had come over pretty late and we were just do it out thing, <laughs> watching Family Guy and yeah. stuff. But I had asked lots of questions, I think that night, hadn't I? Yeah. Just trying to learn everything I can, just in case anything happens to her. We weren't even dating at this point, we were no. just seeing each other. I could definitely feel you were just actually soaking it in and listening, like you weren't just hearing it, you were listening and you wanted to know more, which yeah. I really, really appreciated. And so that night, it was so weird. I, this is, I still don't even, this story is just crazy. So shortly after that, I would say an hour. An hour later, I had a low. And a low again is when you have too much insulin in your body compared to your blood sugar. So if any of you have ever gone on like a really long run or not eaten for a long period of time and really feel faint and kind of like drunk, that's exactly how I felt. And what happens is when you get too low, you start to forget where you are, who you are, what you're saying. Like you're fully out of it. You have no idea what's happening. Literally out of four or five years of this, that was the worst low of my life. <laughs> And I had that and she had to deal with me after that. Just heard yeah. this information and boom, it's put right to the test. <laughs> it was the best test. Yeah. Um, yeah, because I know you don't remember much about it, but Paige, as you know, is very like attentive and loving and very present in the moment. But at first she got really hot and she had told me that that's a side effect as well. You get kind of overheated and you can't cool down. So it was in the middle of winter as well because we had just started. She just kind of like got up, just feeling her way around trying to get outside. Com you look completely wasted out of your mind. Yeah. I couldn't talk to her. I'm like, Paige, what do you need? Do you need this? Do you need that? She was not responsive at all. She just sat outside in the middle of the snow. So I'm like looking at her being like, what the hell do I even do now? So I'm looking around for like sugar and stuff. I have no juice at all. Uh, the only time I got juice in was if we were preying and it was like a Wednesday or something. <laughs> like and I couldn't, I was too out of it to find my juice. Yeah, I went right outside You just and you came with you me outside. outside. You're like, what are you doing? And I was just sitting there. Head in between her knees, non-responsive, outside, sat in the snow. I'm like, oh yeah. my God, she's going to die. Uh, she's gonna die. Yeah, and honestly, it could have happened. That's why the story is so crazy because once you get into that state, if somebody doesn't help you, like mm -hmm. you really could die because your blood sugar will just go so low that you'll pass right out. So anyway, so I had no juice, no nothing. And the only thing I had on hand was this big care package from England. I think my aunt had sent me one. Full to the brim of all my favorite chocolate. For those of you who don't know, my absolute favorite are the Milky Bar Kid buttons, the white chocolate buttons. So <laughs> the first thing I see are these buttons. So I grab a blanket, I grab the buttons, and I'm like, will these help you? This is all I have. And she just <laughs> rips this stuff up and start just double fisting these precious buttons in her mouth. And she's like, she was so cute though because she needed to cool down but it was obviously too cold to be stuck in the blizzard so I wrapped this blanket around her I got under it with her and was like holding her so now you're 
shivering but also sweating yeah. and just fisting these buttons in your mouth. <laughs> and looking back on it, I feel so awful now knowing just how precious and valuable yeah. these buttons are. I can only remember certain moments throughout that mm -hmm. part of the night, but I do remember sitting out there with you and it snowing down. Mm -hmm. I remember you shaking so bad, but you just wanted to make sure I was okay and you had your arm around me. And you were eating some of the buttons too <laughs> to try and get a couple before the bag was gone <laughs> and we're eating them there together in the snow and it's probably the first and like most memorable memory that I have with you and I remember coming to out on the like on the stairs because the sugar had finally hit chocolate takes a little bit longer to hit but it, it's Sorry. still sugar <laughs> and I remember as soon as I came to and realized like what had happened that was the first big moment to me where I knew I was falling in love with you and we weren't even dating yet and no. I I just knew that you listened <clears throat> to exactly what I needed and you knew exactly what to do you were put in this really scary situation right away situation you never asked for to be a part of uh, being with me and you knew what to do and still to this day that's one of the things I'm most thankful for and I just look back and realize I I fucking loved you then. <laughs> that was like one week in. I loved you in a way. It really put into perspective how much I cared for you so early on because very obvious in my mind how much I cared about you and how much I needed you to be okay. And I remember it being scary in the moment because of health issues, but scary overall thinking how deep I already was so quick but it was just so freaky how the same night she explained diabetes in such detail where i had to remember and listen and realize what to do yeah. to then an hour later you having the worst flow i've ever seen you have i swear you were on the brink of of passing out i've never yeah. seen you that bad i think it was a blessing in disguise that we had talked about it that night and that was the same night that it happened and I feel like since then it's brought us closer together because I learned right away to trust you and then I knew I could trust you in dangerous situations like that and I knew you'd listen. You just knew exactly what I needed. So. Always gonna look after you. I know you. Don't my fucking buttons, man. My buttons. <laughs> So now, I love you. Whenever I get extra buttons, it reminds me of that. So yeah. I, I love them even more. But I just try and cherish them just in case she has another life threatening <laughs> low. And I have to look out for myself with these things. You must have really loved me. Have we ever showed them your tattoo? I don't know. It's on my Instagram. I'll show you guys it. <laughs> you guys may be familiar with this logo here. Uh, basically one year after I was diagnosed, <laughs> one year after I was diagnosed, I got this tattoo and it means I'm greater than my highs and lows. As you guys know, that is the logo for our merch. And actually where I first got that design, it was to represent my diabetes. And then it was shortly after that when we were talking about merch that we brought up the idea of turning this tattoo into a clothing design. Not just for diabetes, but we realized just how much it impacts our, our life. Yeah, um, absolutely. It stands for more than diabetes and its message is much bigger than you and I and it's something that I think we could really get behind and something that we believe in. Mm -hmm. it just kind of flowed quite naturally into what merch designed to represent us and, and our channel and our brand or yeah. whatever, however you want to call it. Now people just think I'm obsessed with our own merch. Yeah. <laughs> People are like, why would she get her merch tattoo? They change every week. <laughs> but yeah, that is the roots of the logo if you're just curious about mm -hmm. that. Fam trivia. <laughs> you're welcome. Yeah, so that's the story basically. I saved this gal's life a week into dating and you've been in debt ever since. <laughs> Don't leave me, babe. Never. It makes me love her more because there's more to love and more to care for kind of thing. It feels good for me to be confident in how to handle you when you need me. It's incredible how much it impacts your life. It impacts every decision she makes and it's really upsetting to me that it's basically just waiting on science to get his ass in gear and, yeah. and help you out. I think it's important to know the difference between type one and type two and to really realize just how dangerous of a disease it is because I think a lot of people underestimate just how much it does affect our lives. It's something we think about every single day. Even you dating me has to think about it mm -hmm. all the time for me and I'm so appreciative of that. Um, and uh, just a couple other things because we get a lot of these questions yes. on our videos, uh, under comment section, everywhere. It's just, oh my god. Okay guys, 
the circle on my arm. It's not a sticker, it's a sensor. What that does is there's a needle in the middle of it that tests my blood, um, and then I have the sensor on top which connects to my phone, and then Holly can scan it. And levels aren't doing great right now, but we just ate food, so mm -hmm. it makes sense. And then along with that, I also have a pump. A lot of you are asking if I do injections or I have a pump. And um, I used to be on injections, but just recently changed to the pump. So I'm on the T-Slim X2, I believe is what it's called. For any <laughs> no of you- spawn. <laughs> No spawn. No but please spawn, I can't <laughs> afford it. <laughs> so yeah, I just switched over to the pump, what, maybe six months ago? Maximum. Yeah, that. Before that, I was on injections every day. Day, so usually between eight to ten times a day oh. I would have to inject myself or more but this makes it really easy where it all just flows right through this is completely attached to my back right now I can unclip it for things like showers uh, but otherwise I'm sp supposed to have this on me 24 hours a day even though I have to carry this on me it's made things so much easier. I've been really fortunate with the technology that has come out and I know we're both looking forward to all the things that are soon to come with technology. Artificial yeah. <laughs> That would be fantastic to not have to deal with all of this, but I'm happy with the current progress. That's a little information sesh for yeah. you guys about type one and how I saved her life. <laughs> She really did though, like I know we're like joking around about this, but she literally did save my life because I don't know what I would have done in that situation. I'm just so lucky to have you and now I can say that you've saved my life. Like you are a lifesaver, babe. Yes, I am. <laughs> For more than that reason, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> this was a lot mushier than I thought this video yeah. would be. It's just such a big thing that affects our lives so much and it really helped start the relationship yeah, it did. that we've that we built. So. Mm -hmm. so yeah, that's the story. We promised you this maybe a year ago, and it's Bradley here. It is. Welcome. If you guys have any more questions uh, related to diabetes and how it affects our relationship. Other than what's that patch on your arm? Yeah, I don't want to see that question <laughs> anymore, okay? Sensor, patch, sensor, <laughs> not sticker, sensor. Blood, sugar, diabetic. <laughs> But we have patience for those who want to. Yes, <laughs> yes, of course. We love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in, Bye, and we will see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.